Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Welcome to Rad Kutarot, and this is going to be Leo Sun, uh, Leo Moon, and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for April 1st to uh, April 6th, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is going to be a general reading for, uh, for Leo Star Sign, and uh, for that reason, the reading is going to resonate. Uh, Four different things for every single different Leo and uh, in a different way for every single different Leo. If you want a more personal touch, meaning uh, the personal situation that you are experiencing to be analyzed by me through Tarot and uh, to give you a, a prediction for it, for its future, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being set aside, going to the Leo general reading, the first card which is marking the topic of your week that is going to be the Ace of uh, Swords, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation that is going to be the, just, the judgment, excuse me. Then the third card that we do have that is going to be the positive approach toward the situation, and that will be the Tree of Pentacles. And the last card, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is going to be the Nine of Swords. So once again, Ace of Swords, then it is uh, the Judgment. After that, we do have the Tree of Pentacles. And finally, that will be the Nine of Swords. So for what it seems, Leo, you are to confront a, a big thing in your life. Um, a most likely a thing uh, which you uh, are lacking some sort of a, a push or some sort of a, a, a support so you can overcome. So the general topic here of, uh, of the week for you, which is marked by the Ace of Swords, is finding truly an angle, finding a, um, or defining for yourself a way how you, can, uh, how you can confront that big thing in your life or, what you are, uh, or that big thing that you are uh, wanting to initiate or rather like uh, emancipating. So uh, in a sense of the, let's say you want to tell your wife that you want a, a divorce, but you don't know how to do so, or you don't know how to approach the situation. So this week it is how you're gonna, or, or th this week it is where you're going to analyze the situation itself and find the best possible approach that you can do so that you can confront that big thing in your life. It may not be about the divorce, you know, it may be that you want to confront someone saying that you love them and so on and so forth. It's going to be different for every single one of you. But this week it is where you are going to understand that should you not make any action toward that thing, it's, it simply is not going to happen on its own accord. And uh, moreover here, Leos, is that you are to recognize that these actions you got to make or decisions that you got to make are going to be quite drastic because the Ace of Swords is always about those these final pushes, you know, the final resort that you come to so you can improve your personal circumstances. And if you do so, your personal circumstances are going to be improved. However, with the Ace of Swords, it's very important to be, um, to be somewhat grounded and logically oriented, meaning that you should not lean toward celluloid dreams, unrealistic goals, or uh, a hope that, like I said, things are to resolve on their own accord. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, formation is active enemies. And uh, that formation of cards, it does point that there is nothing holding you in that place or there is nothing that can hold you any longer into that place, nothing you to catch or to work for into that place. What I'm trying to say here, guys, is that let's say that you are a very miserable into your career. Well, the appearance of these cards is that you have to seek your happiness elsewhere. So that is the drastic decision that you need to make. Same goes relationship-wise. Or, you know, if you are a uh, single, these drastic measures could be that you have to approach the person you have a, a secret crush toward, you know, and that sitting into one place here 
the appearance of the uh, Queen of Pentacles is not grant you the results that you are craving for. So <clears throat> meaning that this um, this week for you, Leos, is going to be a week of action. But uh, once again, this action should not be premature and should not be uh, poorly executed or poorly uh, structured in the sense of the first. Like I said, you have to be very logical and accurately define the situation for yourself and how you should properly approach it. The uh, next card that we do have, which is a bit baffling to be honest, it is the judgment. So the judgment into a negative position, it could actually mean that, uh, well, it's not, it not could, but it does mean that um, time for repairing, it is almost, uh, it is, uh, it is over. What I mean is that what have been lost cannot be regained back again with the judgment here into this place. But as well, it means that you can strive for a new direction and for new plans into your life. Now, the judgment is about, um, uh, usually it's about reconciliation. It is about a wake up call or rather like a miraculously uh, emerging circumstances which are allowing you to um, improve your circumstances or to save the day. And the fact that it is into a negative position, it means that these circumstances will not present themselves to you. So pretty much what is done, it's done pretty much. Your situation, it is what it is. And only you, by drastic actions, can improve your personal circumstances, not the situation circumstances. Okay, so there is a, a thin line here when the judgment comes into a... Uh, a negative position as uh, such following. So uh, it, to me, what it looks like for you, Leos, this week is that you have to think first and foremost for yourself and for your own personal happiness. For guys, if you don't take care for your own personal happiness, no one else is. And uh, the accompanied card of the judgment that is going to be the emperor. So the formation is a active, um, active friends. And it, mean, and it looks like that the situation itself is going to be very chaotic and the appearance of this formation here, it means that uh, you may not be able to, uh, how can I place it? Mm. You may not be able to predict every single outcome and every single circumstance that is going to arise once you confront this big thing. You know, for example, you ask for a divorce and your partner or your husband or wife could surprise you with some uh, with some things that you haven't expected at all and that could intimidate you and so on and so forth. So you should not succumb yourself to intimidation or to additionally arouse difficulties along the way um, for you chasing this, uh, this goal of yours uh, or, you know, this big thing of yours. But once again, guys, it's uh, those who are uh, who are afraid to take once again drastic actions it is unlikely that they are going to provoke any kind of improvement and above everything else uh, here you are to receive a lot of support from the people around but or for those who truly commiserate on you. But first you have to show that you are determined, you know, to go to the very end, which leads us to the to the third card here, which is the Tree of Pentacles. And Tree of Pentacles does point that support through development, but this support only shows up when you actually, you know, show determination on your behalf that you are determined to reach to the very end of this of this big thing of yours, either a project at career or um, an enterprise into your relationship and so on and so forth. Now, it is very important, however, to be very diplomatic when it comes to uh, solving this, um, this big in enterprise or pressing forward in this uh, big enterprise like I said, diplomatic with people through meaningful conversations, any kind of disagreements can, can be resolved and solved. So uh, to me, it means that you should not be rigid at all, but more open for to sit on the table of the negotiations, if I may express myself that way. And also the Tree of Pentacles is about criticism. So um, you may be criticized a lot 
from your friends and from your supporters, that is. But this criticism, guys, it's always with the Three of Pentacles in a positive position. It is always a, a constructive criticism. They're criticizing you because otherwise, if they place their opinion into a, a, in a milder fashion, that is, um, it is unlikely that you're gonna take it under consideration. That's why these people were a little bit more harsh than usual, so you can truly hear what they have to tell you. Example straight away, you're miserable into your marriage and uh, you secretly hope that things are to improve on their own accords and uh, that is completely celluloid dream of yours. Instead, you have to place an accurate diagnosis that things are as they are, there is nothing more into this uh, marriage and even if you try to recuperate it, the, cons the, cons the criticism, excuse me, constructive criticism from, for example, a good friend of yours telling you, uh, are you, are you stupid? You know, how can you allow, you know, your wife, for example, to abuse you in such a way and so on and so forth. That should raise a huge big flag and uh, that is a, a form of support that these people is going to show to you. That is the very first one, but should you initiate the very first step of this big uh, decision of yours and this big step to improve your circumstances, they will continue to support you along the way as well. The accompanied card here, that is the tree of one, so we have double trees. That is definitely a support through the, uh, from the social circle and from the people that, you, that are holding you there to uh, to their hearts and the formation it is a uh, passive neutrals and it does mean that you will have to rebuild uh, a majority of your life in this in this field afterwards it doesn't look like that you are to sit into a, a very well established patterns afterwards after you initiate these drastic measures but the beauty of that is that things are to be much more simple afterwards. For example, after you initiate your marriage, the things into your into your personal life are going to become much more simple and much more predictable. Same goes uh, career-wise. You know, you you leave the despondent job and you are to narrow pretty much uh, your further options available where to start the job from now on. You know, and things are once again to become much more simpler to you and you will have the freedom of choosing as well. Uh, in that case, where it is where you leave your job or you bail on a project which is uh, very difficult and it, it's meant to be fail, to, to fail pretty much. Um, <clears throat> where, was, where was I? So yeah, the, the Tree of Pentacles expresses as well a ocean of opportunities. So you should not be afraid, you know, abandoning one thing which is keeping you despondent and miserable because it's going to be for what it seems substituted for another and along the way in the gap where one is to be substituted with another, you will be supported once again from people of your social circle, very, very loyal and faithful friends. And and uh, finally, should you follow the guidance of Tarot at the end of the week, you are to realize that your fear of the future, it is totally in vain. Actually, with the Nine of Swords into a positive position, you are to realize that you have endured quite a lot of despondency, quite a lot of, uh, of um, oppression here. And now finally, you can breathe once again, uh, realizing the potential of your future and that you should have done this irrevocable decision or irreversible actions much, much sooner than, the, than right now in this week, April 1st to April 6th, 2019. The accompanied card that is going to be the tower formation, it is active uh, friends, and it seems that is going to be the rebuildment of your life. Is this going to be easy? N no, but um, because the tower always manifests with rather unpleasant circumstances, all right, but at the end always have a cleansing and nurturing effect upon one's life and upon one's environment as well. So you will have the chance to rebuild your life much stronger and much more predictable, much more controllable on your behalf. Meaning, let's say you file for a divorce after many threats from your wife or from your husband or and enduring a lot of, for example, humiliation and intimidation, you finally file for a divorce. You are to be surprised how many people are to support you through that divorce. And once the divorce is finalized with these cards, which, as these cards are pointing, which is gonna be much easier than you anticipate, 
uh, or than, than you are imagining at the start. It does look like that afterwards, this field that you are making those drastic measures, either career or uh, relationship-wise, can be restructured and built even wilder, even, even more sprawling, even happier and um, with less fear, if I may express myself that way, of the unpredictability going into the future. So my friends, Leos, uh, it does look like that this week you are to confront a big fears in your life, uh, fears which are petrifying you to uh, make unnecessary actions to improve your happiness, to improve your circumstances. You are to realize how many people were there to support you, cheering for you and to help you in a, their need that you are to find yourself. It's just don't try to uh, or don't hope you know that things are to fix themselves on their own accord and recognize you know what makes you miserable because if you don't do it no one else will so uh, that was your weekly tarot reading Leo for April 6 to April uh, April 1st to April 6 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, this was a general reading for Leo Star Sign. And for that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a different way, for a different thing, and in a different level for every single different Leo. But if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation, to be analyzed by me through Tarot, this is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricings starting for just as little as $12 for the recorded reading and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.